Hi guys, welcome to Michelle James Designs or MichelleJDesigns.com. Today we are making these wonderful, beautiful wine glasses. They have been decorated with nail polish from the Dollar Tree. And I love using the nail polish at the Dollar Tree because it's only $1 for each color and I used four colors on this, these glasses and four wine glasses. So you wanna start with a tub, an old tub, and with some water in it. And I used those two colors, which was kind of a burgundy and a teal. And then I have this orange and this really light green. So in your tub, you wanna make it deep enough that you can dip your wine glass or glassware or whatever you're using in there. And you're just going to start by pouring in some of the nail polish and you're going to want to put in a little bit of each color. So for the burgundy, I didn't want it to, I didn't want to put too much of this one in because I didn't want it to take over the other colors because it's so dark. And I thought it was more of a burgundy and it looks really pink when I got it in the water. There's my peachy color and this is my light green. So now that I have all the colors in there kind of swirled around, I'm going to use a toothpick and I'm just going to dip the end of the toothpick in and just kind of mix a little bit, swirl the colors a little bit together. You don't want to do this too much or it'll turn into kind of a muddled mess, but just enough to kind of make the colors look pretty. Then I'm going to take my wine glass and I, I want to avoid the top part if I can. So I have it at an angle with the stem and going in first and then you dip it in there and you kind of roll it around. And you can sort of move it around if you want to. And then when you take it out, you have this really pretty design and just set it upside down over to the side to dry. Then if you're doing more glasses, you can just add in the colors again and then swirl it around again with your toothpick. And then dip another glass. And what I love is they all turn out different. Some have more color than others, but they all match, but are different. And I love that. Look how pretty it is all the way down the stem. And you just keep going till you get all your glasses. Just keep putting in more nail polish. Some of them might drip down like this one has. There's one nice good drip and then there's some cloudy spots that I don't really like on the glass. So I'm using some nail polish remover. And I'm just putting it on a cotton ball. And then I am going to rub that nail polish away that I don't like. You want it to be away from the rim where people's mouths are going to be. So avoid that top part. So if there were some parts that were too high even, I took those off, off too. And you just keep going until you like what you see and it's cleared off. It'll kind of leave sort of a cloudy look to it, but when you use water on it, after you use the nail polish remover, that will go away. And it just kind of blends into the clear part of the top of the glass, which I like. So this is what it looks like without, after it's been cleaned, it's all pretty now. And here's another one. So I've gotten all the stuff off away from the top. And here they are in my final photograph. 
I just think they turned out really pretty. I have them hanging on my wine glass rack and I just think they turned out really cute. You guys can try this. You can use them on any kind of glassware. You can do it on um, votive holders or whatever you want to use. It is really fun. So I hope you guys like it and thanks so much for watching.